Israeli police fired stun grenades and clashes broke out in Tel Aviv on Wednesday during a nationwide day of disruption. It's raising the intensity of weeks of protests against the government's contentious plans to reform the court system, a move that's drawn concern from some Western allies about the health of Israeli democracy. Images like this haven't been seen in Tel Aviv in years. Police on horseback tried to stop demonstrators breaching barricades as traffic piled up. Protesters were dragged off the road as demonstrators banged their fists on police vehicles and called out shame. A born in Israel, I fought for 30 years in this country to save this country. Now I'm fighting against the dictatorship that's going to happen. I want that it happen. I want that it happen. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's nationalist religious governing coalition is pressing ahead with the judicial changes. He says violence against police and road blocking will not be accepted. The judicial reform plan includes giving ruling coalition lawmakers decisive sway in picking judges and limits the scope of the Supreme Court to strike down legislation or rule against the executive. Netanyahu is on trial on corruption charges, which he denies, and says the reforms will return balance of power to the branches of government. Polls suggest a majority of Israelis oppose the plan and prefer a compromise. The US ambassador to Israel has said the government should, quote, slow down and try to build consensus.